The four vital behaviors. I love talking about the four vital behaviors. And if you ask any coach that's had success in this business, what has helped them? And you know, what's the key to success in this business? They will tell you that they've done the four vital behaviors consistently every single day. That's it. Nothing magical, no secret sauce. They've done the four vital behaviors consistently over time. Okay. So what the four vital behaviors are, are just actions you take in your business to help you grow. And over time, as you do them consistently, you'll start to see it grow. Okay. So the first vital behavior is inviting, invite, invite, invite. Okay. And I know you hear that word and you get a little scared, right? Like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go out there and just invite someone to join me. Well, you don't have to, like, this does not have to be scary. Okay. Inviting is simply just making a new friend, connecting with them, building that relationship, and just asking questions. How are you doing? How's your family? Um, are you working towards any goals lately? Right. And then when that, you know, relationships feels comfortable and you feel like you've gone back and forth and you feel like you're connecting, that's when you can invite them to a challenge group. Okay. Sometimes that conversation flows naturally and goes into talking about health and fitness because they've seen your post because you've been really consistent sharing your journey and they ask you, right. Or you ask them and they see that you've been on your journey and they see your success. They see your results and they join you because you've been consistent sharing your journey. Okay. So inviting, it doesn't have to be complicated. It's just making friends. That's how I think about this business is that I am simply just making friends every single day. It doesn't have to be, and your first message should never be um, a cold invite where you're just, hey, how's it going? I know we've never talked yet, but I'm starting up this challenge group and I'm super excited to get you started. Like, would you like to join? Um, no. Okay. Building relationships, forming friendships, you know, talking to them about family, their occupation, what they're up to, their kids, their family life, and then inviting them when it feels ready for you. Okay. So that's inviting. Nothing scary. And number two is be proof the product works. Okay. You have to consistently be on your journey. And I know I've talked about this, um, but you have to be doing the workouts, drinking your Shakeology, doing your personal development. You have to be proof the product works so that when someone you invite goes to your Facebook page or your Instagram and they look at your page, they don't look and be like, oh, I don't see that she's doing any workouts. I don't see that she's talking about some business that she's doing. Um, so no, right? You want them to go to your page and be, wow, you know, this, what she's doing looks really exciting. Like she's always talking about this new business that she's doing and how it's changing her life and this challenge group that she's in and um, how it's really helped her to build these new relationships and form this community and accountability, right? So that's, why you need to be proof the product works. Okay. Because if you're not doing those things, how can you expect anyone else to do them with you? Okay. Super important. Uh, number three is recognition. This business is so amazing with recognition. Our team is amazing with recognition because it's so vital. It's so important that your team and your challengers know that you're recognizing them, that you're shouting them out for small wins, for big successes, for little things, because it rewards positive behavior right? So when you do, you know, when someone on your team does something well, or someone in your, in your challenge do, and your challenge group does awesome with something, um, shout them out on your Facebook page, shout them out in the challenge group, in your free fitness support group, shout them out because then people are going to see that. They'll be like, wow, so-and-so is doing great in her challenge group. You know, maybe I should look into it because I really need that support too. Okay. And when you recognize coaches on your team that are doing great and they are going to be inclined to do that again, to get that reward again, and to get that recognition again, because they want that feeling again. Like who doesn't like recognition? Like it's amazing. Okay. So you got to make sure that you're recognizing even the smallest of things, you guys, even those little things, because then those coaches that might feel like they're struggling, see that someone else had success with it. And it's like their aha moment. They're like, okay, gosh, this self-limiting belief that I've had, or this fear that I've had, I need to just get over it because she did it. And I can too. Okay, so that's why recognition is important. And then lastly, and definitely not least, is personal development. Okay, you cannot grow this business if you are not growing yourself. It took me a little bit longer than it should have to realize this myself. Um, I struggled with like finding the time to read. I'm like, gosh, I don't really have time to read. I'm so busy all the time, especially when I was working full time. 
I just didn't have the time. And little did I know then what I know now is that you don't have to sit down with a book. Okay. You can read an audiobook, find a podcast, go to iTunes and listen to some national calls on there and grow yourself. And you can do it and multitask. You can listen to personal development in the car. You can do it while you're folding laundry. It kind of makes those boring tasks a little bit more pleasant, right? Like you put your earbuds in and you listen to some personal development. Okay. I do find the time to sit down and read now. I love sitting down and drinking my shake in the morning and reading my book in the morning for at least 20 minutes. That's it. Like at least 20 minutes, find time to work on yourself because the more you work on yourself, the more you can give to others. Okay. The more you fill your own cup, the more you can go in there and pour into others. So, um, and I can tell you for a fact that personal development has made me grow into the person I am right now that you see in this video that would have never, ever do this video without personal development. Like uh, it was just always so hard and confidence has been a struggle with mine, but whatever you're struggling with in your life, you find personal development to build you up. So I find personal development about confidence. I find the personal development that suits me and that's what you guys will do as well. Okay. You don't just read what other people are reading. You can read something that has to do with what you need to improve in your life. Okay. So those things, those four things together, doing them consistently over time, right? I've been in this business six years, but because I've been consistent with these four things, that's how I've grown this business to where it is today. So do those vital behaviors, do them consistently, and you'll see success.